Ladies and gentlemen, I keep saying that the Supreme Court will eventually side with uh, Trump and overturn any conviction. Let's say there's a conviction in New York or maybe a D.C. jury because uh, they'll probably try to get him for obstruction in January, which is nonsense. The Supreme Court will overturn um, any conviction. And Jack Smith will go 0-3. He lost the Bob Edwards case, the, uh, the uh, Bob McDonald case in Virginia. That was overturned, unanimous Supreme Court decision. And there's no evidence. They don't have any evidence against Trump. They have zero evidence. They don't even have the document that they say he didn't declassify. That document doesn't exist, apparently. It, it's literally missing. And so they're going to try to put him in prison forever based on a document that he spoke about on an, in an audio where they're all laughing. So it's like he could be joking around. He could be engaging in just hyperbolic banter. Um, but there's no document. So that doesn't exist. The New York indictment is so ludicrous and absurd and it's been torn apart by legal scholars even on the left. So that will probably lead to a conviction. It's New York. So he'll never get a fair trial in New York. But it'll be overturned by the Supreme Court. All of these are going to go to the Supreme Court. But anyway, NBC News. Supreme Court dismisses House Democrats' dispute over Trump hotel documents. Now, they have only received losses, Democrats. If even... 2% of what they accused Trump of doing was true, he would have already been in prison for 50, 60, 70 years, okay? They have only gone after Trump because their best defense is a good offense. They are the ones who actually did commit crimes. That sounds like a partisan statement, but the reality is, the reality is independent of partisanship. The reality is Clinton had servers. They were illegal. They were not legal to own. We don't need James Comey to tell you uh, what is legal, the Honorable James Comey, to explain that owning servers that siphon classified data outside of the United States government is not legal. In fact, he said there were violations of legal statutes, but he also said no reasonable prosecutor would indict. He acknowledged, the Honorable James Comey acknowledged that laws were broken with Clinton. So, the, and the Honorable James Comey wrote a letter right, right before 2016, a week before, because classified data was floating around. Okay, nobody made more of a mockery of classified data than President Obama's administration. Then you get to, um, well, let's just continue. The Hill, Supreme Court tosses Trump D.C. hotel records case. Um, CNN, Supreme Court drops case concerning Trump hotel records. So, like I've been saying, I always do these segments. The Supreme Court will eventually overturn. They just tossed the case here. The Supreme Court will no longer hear a case on whether a Democratic lawmakers should have sh should have been able to sue to obtain documents related to Washington, D.C. hotel former President Trump owned during his presidency. Congressional members dismissed the lawsuit last month. So they actually um, they actually overturned or uh, blocked prevented the DOJ, Biden's DOJ, from pursuing the case. After the high court last month agreed to hear Biden's Justice Department's appeal in the case, Democrats dismissed the dispute in a lower court. Both sides then wrote to the justices agreeing the Supreme Court. Okay, uh, so everyone, everyone agreed that this is nonsense. Okay, even Democrats, when they had a, a second to look at this, agreed it was nonsense. Hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. But the case was set to weigh how the majority party in Congress... Okay, so the Justice Department had asked the justices to declare that the Democrats could not... Sue. Okay, so Democrats who had urged the Supreme Court to not get involved in the case in the first place agreed that the court should... Dispo okay, so you have a situation where they wanted to go after Trump... They, they just always want to go after Trump. They just always, it's not even about the rule of law. If you are obsessed over somebody and you're worried about boxes when you're not worried about servers, okay, here's the issue with hypocrisy. You have to be a narcissist to ignore rampant criminality on your political divide, rampant, and then just focus on Trump because everyone you respect, all the publications you respect, the publications you don't like, 
focus on Hunter and Joe and the laptop and clear bribery and graft and pay-to-play schemes and felonies. But the majority of publications out there are rooting for one political side, one team. So this is the problem. One of the greatest problems in America today is that the wonderful, highly educated, morally superior liberal Democrats, who are fantastic human beings, who are so much more moral as they defend Hunter and Joe and Hillary and every, and I think Hillary Clinton will be 2020, the 2024 nominee. But as they preside over, what, 20, we're, we're, we're 90 seconds to midnight, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, because of uh, Biden's foreign policy, we're heading into a recession. Um, inflation is still for food, for rent, for energy, through the roof, for most Americans. Um, this is, the, the crime is soaring throughout every major city and throughout the country. Homelessness. These are, this is what happens when you have not only Democrats in cities that just continue uh, to remain there, Democrats, you know, Democratic Party rule, you have a president and an administration focused on everything but poverty. Poverty levels have gone up. The poverty rate hit its lowest ever in 2019 with Trump. What is wrong with that? My God, what did Trump do to you, morally superior liberal Democrat, for you to ignore the economic numbers? My God. When Robert De Niro was saying how bad the country was, everyone was doing better in terms of the economy. But he's already a millionaire, so what does he care? He just doesn't want Trump. Trump is mean. Or maybe there's some other reasons, okay? <laughs> but people don't like, like, Hollywood does not like Trump. But you have to ask, well, what does Hollywood have to gain from going after Trump? What, it's not about a, a pursuit in morality, the issue is that you have millionaires and people who are extremely powerful in government going after a president that presided over record low poverty, record highs in household median income. He reversed U.S. foreign policy, which he should have done, which is what he was uh, chosen by the people to do. That's why you go from President Obama, who had a militant hawkish foreign policy, to Trump a less militant, less hawkish foreign policy. Is that too much to understand, uh, you know, far left person, per liberal Democrat who doesn't care about foreign policy at all. The entire world could descend into what's taking place in Europe and they, all they would say is, well, he's not mean and he's nice and Biden's nice and he doesn't insult people. They're going, they go after Trump for a variety of reasons, primarily because he was too good of a president. And he was an, he's a political adversary, and he was too good of a president. The economy was too good. And foreign policy, he brought home Americans. No, but people did not want a third President Obama term. That's one of the reasons Clinton lost, in addition to her servers. And the Honorable James Comey writing that letter, which was the main thing that took place for Clinton to lose. It wasn't the DNC emails that showed that Bernie Sanders was cheated. <laughs> They spin everything. It's so hilarious and it's so obvious. They, it's, they sp whatever problem they have, they spin it into a national security issue. Oh, uh, the Kremlin wants you to know about Hunter's laptop. Oh, really? They, wh why is it that, that Russia always wants us to know how corrupt Democrats are? What, what, what would, what would, how would that help? Oh, because you know what? Because, because, because if they know, because, because, if we're, if you know how corrupt we are, then that helps Trump, and Trump is the best friend of the Putin. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Now I, now we should never know how corrupt Democrats are because it's always a plot by another country to help the Democratic Party's adversary. Wow, that's really smart. You have to be the greatest imbecile that's ever walked the earth to even be okay with that kind of propaganda. But then again, we have the wonderful, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats. And again, it's like, if you look at an article in the Washington Post or NBC News or New York Times, it, you would think that reality is against Trump. The opposite is true. The Supreme Court just tossed out a D.C. hotel case 
and they will they will reverse and overturn any conviction against Trump. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. To read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications, go to hagoodman.com. Patreon is below.